Good evening, guys. Guys, I want to take this time quickly and I want to speak to you about some of the teachings in Christianity that is part of the enemy and part of the enemy's manipulation to get people to reject the person that God created and to allow his permission to other spirits to influence their decisions. Guys, number one, do you know that God is fair? Do you understand that God will not make someone to pay for the sin of another? Do you understand that if you are born, you are not born because of sin? You were not born because of in sin or because your um, your the people before you were in sin? You were born because God gave you life. He blessed you. He blessed you with life and he gave you a spirit, a uniqueness that is different to everybody else's. Not one person receives the same spirit from God. In other words, we are all unique in our own right. Now, the enemy does not like this. The enemy wants everybody to be like him. The enemy wants to be God. He wants to, he wants to feel inferior. So guys, he came up with these false teachings in Christianity that says we are born in sin. We need to reject who we are. We need to um, allow other spirits to guide us. People, God gave us a spirit. A spirit that is capable of connecting to him to receive his guidance. Do you understand? No other spirit is necessary to have a relationship with God. We need our spirit that God gave us and we need to accept God's guidance. God is always present. He's connected to his creation. Do you understand that? So, for Christianity to say that you were born in sin and you need to uh, reject your own spirit, you need to reject who you are and you need to allow yourself to be like Jesus or to um, allow uh, a spirit to guide you to understand God. God does not make mistakes. God does not make a mistake when He created you. God created you for who you are. And you need to embrace the person you are. And you need to let your light shine. Because it's our uniqueness that will make the world run together. But this world is so confused because people are so confused about who they are because everybody's trying to be like everybody else instead of being themselves. And because they cannot be themselves, they cannot become who they were destined to be. Because they live a lie. They live a life of pretending instead of being who they are. So guys, understand this is very, very important. Christianity teaches us that we were born in sin. It teaches us that we need to be born again. People, that is like saying, God, thank you for the blessing of life. Thank you for the spirit of mine that is unique to me. But God, I think you made a mistake. I'm rejecting who I am. I'm rejecting the spirit you gave me. And I'm giving permission to these other spirits to come and guide me, to influence me, so that I can have a relationship with you. Yeah, no, I think you No. Do not reject your own spirit. You, you are more capable of having a relationship with God than you think. No other spirit can make you have a relationship with God. It's a lie. That's the enemy. If you are following God today, 
not in your own spirit, but through darkness to another spirit, know this, you are not following God, you are following the enemy. He is manipulating you into following a lie. God did not make a mistake. He gave you a spirit and he gave you a morning capable of doing anything that you need to be done. The day this world starts to embrace who they are and they live who they are in God, who they represent, this world will become better. Why does this world always try to be like someone else? Why can they not be happy with who they are? Oh, because from a young age they are programmed and taught that they are no good, that they are sin. That those before them were sin, and they are paying the price for those before them. They are taught they are worthless. They are taught they need to reject who they are, and they are taught they need to allow other spirits to give them guidance. So guys, listen to me now and listen closely. Being born again is the enemy's way of getting people to give other spirits permission to possess them and to guard them. God does not possess you. God does not give permission. He's automatically there. You can only reject him. People always try to be saved. You are saved. You were born. You were blessed with life. Captain, why do you not understand that? Um, if you were not saved, and if you were not blessed with life, then you wouldn't have received life. But you received the gift of life. You received the gift of the Spirit. Because you are saved. And because God loves you and He gave it to you for free. Why take that for granted and believe that you are not blessed and that you need to be saved? Why do what does He um, bless those that do not deserve it, or does he bless those who deserve it? I mean, he gave you life, you are saved. Remember those guys, please, it's so important. Do not allow any other spirits to enter you. Follow God within your own spirit. Let the uniqueness that is you shine. Then you can't take it. The enemy wants everybody to be like him. And that's why he has gotten Christianity into believing that they have to be in Christ to have a commission as your God. No, it's not who you are in Christ, it's who you are in God. You need to be who you are and follow God, knowing that he is your creator, that he loves you, and that he did not make a mistake when he gave you life. He blessed you, he loves you, and he wants you to embrace who you are and live for him. But most important, he wants you to live life. He wants you to enjoy life, the life he gave you. He doesn't want you to stress about things that is out of your protection.